Oh boy. And and the guests keep coming. <laughs> Hopefully Hope not they're that wearing fight. a Jimmy. <laughs> yes, kids, it is time for and it's time for every one of uh, one of the favorite segments on this show. Coco Fiction Theater. Oh, excuse me. Coco Fan Fiction Theater with your host, Sir Alec Heineken. Oh. <laughs> Always a highlight. Ow. Lots of people writing Coco, Coco Beware fan fiction these days. Oh, chop. Oh, chop. Oh, gee, how are you doing, lad? I'm hey. doing fantastic. Oh, oh, good show, babe. Good show. Uh I just sitting back here, uh, I was waiting, waiting for, waiting for you guys to get a hold of me. I'm sitting back enjoying, uh, nice meal of fish and chips, uh, got a bottle of scotch, getting ready to watch the, uh, Bush Reed. Coco Beware match from WrestleMania 3. Oh, yes. Classic. Five star classic. Classic, classic. Yes, yes, yes. But, uh, before I did that, I, uh, we've been doing a lot of talking, uh, a lot of talk about Coco Beware on this show this week, huh? Of course. Every Could've week. me think. No, excuse me not. I said every week we talk about Coco Beware. Oh, yes, yes. I, like, like, like the sun setting and rising at Coco Beware. Talk on this show. Yes. Week. Constant. Um, but I, I got to thinking. Um, a lot of talk about Coco this week, huh? There's going to be a lot of talk about Coco this weekend. So I figured... What a more perfect time to give you a story. A story about Frankie this week. Oh, excellent. Well, we've had so many stories about Coco in the past. And, yes, yes. and, and everything. And high energy, of course. And it, it's really good that we're going to get a Frankie story. Oh, yes. Uh, because Frankie has emotions too, Bill. <laughs> Fantastic. Frankie needs love too. And this week's story involves Frankie. In that quest everyone goes on at some point in their life. Not a quest for the rings. No. A quest for love. Frankie sat atop his perch. Lovesick and lonely. Would he ever find a soulmate? He had sat on Coco's shoulder for hours as they browsed Match.com in hopes his longtime friend could help him find somebody to mate with. Frankie was very picky, but there were a few birds which caught his eye. Oh, Polly. Oh, sweet Polly. Wow, she was a, a delectable little feathered vixen. Frankie was concerned. It was rumored she wanted more than just a cracker. <laughs> she was an in, insatiable sex pot, known for numerous orgies with huge flocks of robins and hummingbirds. Frankie decided to pass on a potential trice. If he didn't want to take the risk of getting any sexually transmitted, transmitted bird flu. He needed somebody more wholesome. And who can fill that role better than Sesame Street's Big Bird? There was one catch, though. They were both males. Mm. However... Frankie was not offended by homosexuality. In the 60s, he made love to many, many women, often outdoors in the mud and the rain, and it's possible that a male slipped in. There'd be no way of knowing. However, he was turned off by Big Bird's yellow feathers. It reminded him of when he had di yellow diarrhea and would have to stare at it dried up and on the newspapers 
lining the bottom of his bird cage, the Spoko was too lazy to clean it routinely. Touching. Captain. Excuse me, Lon? I said touching. How <laughs> is it? Captain Morgan's parrot was an option, but alas, Frankie wanted nothing to do with an alcoholic parrot. It would bring back too many unpleasant memories of Coco stumbling in drunk after a weekend bender. No. There was only one choice for Frankie. Toucan Sam. The rainbow-colored beak the Kellogg's icon possessed made him randy. The mere thought of them sharing a naked breakfast in bed made him want to go choke his parrot. There was only one dilemma. Would Frankie's dong fit into Sam's brown fruit loop? The end. Oh. Oh, look at that! Yeah. Way to go! Oh, thank you, thank you. Sir, sir oh. Alec. Every oh, boy. week, I, I, we just don't think you can top yourself. And Oh, the, the, the crowd's going wild. Oh, boy. There, there. Like that guy, like that guy I see over there in the crowd, who who screams at Sir Alec, "You did it every week." Yes, yeah, it, uh, that's a big it. fan of his. Yeah, that's Sir Alec's number one mark. I, I, we'll have to talk to him one of these days. Because mm, yeah. Lord, Lord, Lord knows we need another recurring character on Coco Radio. Yes, not enough characters. <laughs>